um, we can start looking as well um, at the current price points, like where we've been um, and, and where we want to get to um, eventually as well. So I'm just going to switch this on because now it's decided to be stupid. Um, Here we go. So now you can see my my chart here. Um, so currently, performance-wise, three percent up on the week, which is really good to see. Some green, albeit very small. Uh, but these numbers here have come down significantly. It's this six-month one that I want to see, but we're not going to see that for a few more months, maybe even into next year, guys, because so many things are going on around the world. People are still so cautious, and people aren't really buying up as much as they are, uh, or, or were p perhaps like throughout the the bear market downward trend. Um, so we've got to be a bit more patient with that. But this three month one is really interesting. This is now down to a negative of 7%, which is a lot higher in the last videos that we did. You can check those out to double check that. Um, but yeah, for me, Veracity is a really interesting price point. There's a lot of move uh, movement available for growth. Uh, the last point back up here in November last year, we're literally coming up to a year, guys. That's mental. Seems like it was only yesterday. Um, so we're at these top levels previously up here, like edging towards that 10 cent mark. And we're now way, 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 way down here at less, I think, less than half a cent right now. So we look at the close or, or where we are right now, 0 0.004, which is absolutely crazy. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you something here because with, with Veracity, I've been holding Veracity a long time guys like and, and when it was like two cents i was like super excited about this project i was buying all over the place around here up towards five i was buying it up here and of course we had this big crash and i was like always remember in thinking in my head and this is something i always look back to and i'd always say to people is oh, i wish i was in a project really early um or when it first started and of course that's when you're going to make the huge 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 gains sometimes in the first like four hours or something uh, but for me it was looking back at these numbers here and and these are less, by the way, back January 2021, for example, this is even less than what we're at right now. So we're already making progress on this project. We'll go into that in a bit more detail, but I wanted to give you this overview because I was buying up these different areas and I was like, oh, I wish I bought more at two cents when it was up at like six to eight cents. I was like, I wish I bought more. And now we're down at these levels. Um, and I think it's mainly psychological uh, and I, I've been focusing a lot more on ISO tokens and I do need to have more focus on veracity. I'm always open and honest. Like I haven't been buying as much veracity as I probably should be. Um, there's a number of things you need to consider, uh, you know, like market cap, supply, um, you know, what's in circulation, all this stuff. And that's understandable. But you've also got to look at the spectrum of like where we can get to um, in, in a next kind of bull run, whenever that might be. This is one of the individual targets. Okay, for me and I, I think like I always said like I, I do believe by like 2025 we would see over 50 cents at least of veracity and I still stand by that I'd love to see a dollar we'll have to see how this um you know the ad stacking technology progresses over these next two years. these two three years guys are going to go really fast how much development how much how much drive can be done in this time we have to see so we can only speculate at this moment in time but I'm believing in the technology I know the people and I, I believe in it so that's why I'm here. But yeah, as, as an investor, I'm looking at this and going, right, okay, this is the movement that we've got. We're at higher regions to what we were back here in January 2021. One of these most higher regions back here was just under where we are right now. So this is the mechanism where we are. You see this bottom gray line. This is basically me pulling out the lowest points way back here. And this is also identifying the top region, right at the top. I mean, you can see on the longer level, there's a big gap here. So we're, we're very much in the bottom quarter of this big gap, right? So when we look at a, on a, a smaller level here, on a, a macro level, um, you can start seeing some some stories here. And you can see loads of movement. In fact, I'm just going to bring this back out a, a second all the way across here. So we have a full detailed story. Um, so we've had these bounce ups. Uh, we had this big drop down for the last six, seven months. And we're now starting to stagger ourselves up. This is in play with the Vera views uh, change over the different branding and loads of other different announcements as well. But I also think there's an, a bit of an encouragement in the charts anyway in general where people are like, right, do you know what? This is quite low now. Let's just start buying up a bit. So profits are taken. You can understand that's why we've got this uh, reversal on the V here. Uh, was this the 11th August switch over? 
Um, so we've still got these these important areas. I'm going to keep these circles in because um, I think they're important. This circle in particular was one we drew in the last video, um, if I believe. I might have to track back, but I've definitely drew in one of the previous videos. So this is an area of interest because we are now at the lower regions of where we were um, quite quite some time ago, uh, near enough where we were back here, February 2021. So it's not far off, guys. Uh, but what's interesting is it resisted. It resisted coming back down to this. And what, what I'm talking about is this right here, this edgy movement here where we just saw an absolute drive up for veracity. Uh, but in this, in this area is of interest to me because we have had resistance. We've gone up, we've come back down and we've resisted again. Now, this is not to say we'll come back and test this area. We might drop down. And that's why I do think it could be very, very worth, potentially, if we're not out of these bear markets and winter markets, to be putting in a purchase order uh, underneath this 0 0.004 mark that we're at. So we're looking at, I, I, would, I would probably be putting one at 0 0.0037. That is my last post resort kind of um area but i'm i'm in a middle focus right now where we are today we're currently floating around on this red line here on the fib retracement this is leveling off to where we hit back here on the 26th of july you can see the pattern it's hitting the resistance areas now so this could be a really interesting part to play we could we drop back down in here i'm not really fussed about buying here again because i already did that here and here anyway albeit small numbers I would be interested if it drops down and that's where I'll capture the drop in and we could see a bit of a tail off potentially but if we don't we're going to be playing around this area in my opinion over the next month or so um, and, and what I mean by this is yes you might see some more drag ups here but I do think it's going to be a bit of a magnet particularly like this area here this is going to be an, an interesting area so we need to have a bit of bobbling up and down on this red line to determine have we got enough support here we've got some trigger points I don't think this is enough and I don't think two areas one uh, around here in two areas sorry and this one here I don't think this is enough to confirm that so this is always going to be a manual purchasing area for me. Okay, I'm not going to put buy orders in here because it's not enough movement. But what I'm going to be doing is manually buying this over the next few weeks if it stays around this area. And I'll hold out a limit order for this lower region, but I'm going to be doing some manual ones. If we take the, well, the way up for Veracity, I'm not going to be selling Veracity, guys, until we get to at least 20 cents. This is my marker point. I'm not selling Veracity. I'm accumulating, um, as I said before, I made the lesson of wishing that I had bought more. And now I'm in this position where I'm like, do you know what? I'm going to accumulate as much as I can of this particular project. This is me talking. This doesn't mean that you have to do this as well. You need to do the research. You need to understand the project more if you haven't done so already. And I'm sure there's many of you out there that already hold veracity like I do for various reasons. Um, and it could as well be like <laughs> the same boat that I'm in. I'm at a loss of veracity because I was buying up the high range, but I'm not fussed about this right now because I'm more interested in the long-term veracity. I think it's got so much to offer as a project and as an asset to invest in. So these are my areas of interest, guys. But as I said, um, this particular line on the fib retracement is where we need to focus right now. This is really important for the next couple of weeks to identify if this is gonna become a support level. As I said, I don't think there's enough trigger points here to confirm this yet. So we're gonna have some play here. Um, and as I said, I'm not ma majorly fussed about these big jump ups. Uh, if you've got substantial money in there and you're making these moves, then fine. Um, because percentage wise, it's probably quite decent. I mean, if we take that bottom point to up here, it's good 100%. So if you're stacking this up severely, then fair play to you. And you've probably taken some profits in that mind. But for me, I'm not making um, big enough investments here to be like too excited. Um, if we come to 10 cents, I might potentially sell off an initial investment but like i said i'm selling most of mine off around 20 cents that doesn't mean i'm going out of veracity at that area because i think there's a hell of a lot more in there but you have to be strategic in the way that you buy and sell so that's that's my target some people might say you're being a bit silly you, you could have some incremental levels up to that level but i'm not fast i will be happily buying veracity whether it's a one cent five cents ten cents because i believe in the long term i'm talking about like five years guys between five and ten years is long-term strategy for me for veracity but I do think by 2025, the technology that they have and everything that's going on in the world by 2025, um, we'll, we'll probably have some significant gains and reward from the investments that we're making right now. So the last point I want to make before I wrap this video up, guys, 
uh, is, is these areas here on the RSIs. So at the moment, as a buying perspective, 14 days showing 46 and the 20 days showing 44. Now, it's not an exact buy point for me right now. If it comes down a bit lower, I would, if I see that 28 day coming down to maybe 42 to 40, absolutely, I'll be putting some more manual orders in there. Um, but we're on just a little tiny buying spike here. So I'm just gonna hold off for a second um, or two. But like I said, the numbers aren't huge differences, okay? So I'm just kind of like a piece in my mind really from a competitive spectrum to myself. Um, but yeah, there's a little spike up here. I don't think it's gonna be huge. I think it's gonna be like little bubbles like we've seen here. Um, so I'm just going to see that play out for a few days, see how we're reacting to this, because we're hitting the middle month now. We're approaching October where there's all this talk about hikes of prices and fuel and this, that and the other. We'll have to see how this engages. I don't anticipate a huge sell-off again uh, right now, but we'll have to see. And and the switch over on the MACD has confirmed that we're in a, a bit of a movement upwards. So I'm just holding off until I do a few more manual orders um, or at least a little drop in one day, and then I'll do that. Um, but like I said, when I see that 14 day and that 28 day coming down a lot more, um, you know, towards that 40 mark, that's when I'll start being a bit more interested in it. I wasn't just going to leave it alone um, and see how, how the chart's reacting over the next couple of weeks. I'm not in a huge rush. Sometimes it's worth being a bit patient. Um, so guys, that's going to wrap that up there. That's what I'm thinking with Rusty right now. That's where I'm making my moves or putting some orders or holding holding for uh, let us know what you're doing with veracity in your portfolio um i think this is for me a long-term one i'd like to know if you're doing short-term long-term bit of a mix how long have you been holding veracity are you involved in any of the esports side of things or any of the staking let us know um really interested to hear those thoughts but guys i'm going to wrap that up there because i'm trying to slam through some videos i haven't done any for a while I'm trying to do a bit of a catch-up so thanks for watching this one guys we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.